Rom has been League of Legends staple mascot since his release in 2014 and is overwhelmingly accepted by the 2x scale community due to his charming charisma, impeccable mustache, and the fluffiest animals in the world, his poros. Today, let's compare Brahm's skill set in League of Legends and break down how they implemented it in 2XKO. So first, what does Brahm actually do in League of Legends? Brahm is a tank, meaning he can receive tons of damage and still live. He is also a support with tons of ice abilities and shield potential. Basically, his goal is to protect the carries on his team with his big shield while initiating team fights to lead his team to success. So how did they implement this in 2xko? Well, his Q shoots an ice ram from his shield to slow enemies, while his passive allows the enemies to get stunned if his allies hit them enough times. This is shown in one of his supers in 2xko as he throws his shield at the grounded enemy to deal damage. His Q is also shown after the big shield move as it looks like an action coming out of the shield. It also seems that Riot shifted this concept into having his shield get icy blue with some of his attacks just for aesthetics. His ultimate in League of Legends sends a huge spike of ice that knocks up all enemies in its path. It seems they made this into a shockwave super similar to Magneto in Marvel vs. Capcom, which is a great tool for happy birthdays, wall carry, combo enders, and disengage. His E is his signature ability, a big shield that he puts up for a few seconds to absorb all incoming damage. And when I say absorbs damage, I mean literally all of the damage is almost nullified. In fact, the first thing that hits his shield gets completely nullified, 100%. It seems his main shield skill in 2xKO is a move that grants him super armor while moving forward. I'm wondering if it's one direction he's going, like what if the character jumps over the shield, will Braum autocorrect in the other direction? Also is this immune to grabs or command grabs? We'll see in the playtest. They also added a low counter similar to Taskmaster in Marvel vs Capcom, which leads to a full wall bounce and combo route. Bonus points for being able to ride his shield on his enemies. Fun fact about Poros though, they actually don't appear in Brahm's gameplay at all. They are strictly in lore and another mode called Aram where a player could feed the Poros in game. They also appear in other Riot games like the card game Legends of Runeterra. So this is a very fun addition from the team to add these cuddly characters more deeply into his kit in 2xKO. Brahm has really come a long way. At his first conception, he wasn't even going to be a man. His name was going to be Cece, a female engineer that designed a robotic mechanical shield to help save those around her. That eventually got scrapped because it didn't feel right according to the Riot team and eventually came out to the big beefy man Brom that we see today. Brom also has some mobility in League of Legends and being able to hop to a teammate and sharing his tank stats with them. I don't notice any signs of that happening here, other than his combos and animations seems very flexible for a beefy ass man. It seems like most of his normals are completely independent from League, showing a bit of a creative flex on the FGC team. They also completely transferred Brom's fun and quirky personality into XKO, and I give it a solid 10 out of 10 for the creativity overall. I think Riot Games team did a phenomenal job in implementing him in 2xKO as best as possible. I know a lot will change after the playtest, but the initial direction Riot Games is taking look great. What do you think about Braum so far? Is there any more characters you want me to break down? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.